I'm working in the R&D of Actega Terra. I'm a chemist, and I'm working on, on the topics of Primer. It's one of my projects since 2017, and I would like to talk about the developments we have done in the past. So everybody was talking about customization. Nobody likes uh, plain um, folding boxes or corrugated boxes. You will, everybody likes um, colorful and appearing um, packages. So we think um, corrugated boxes and um, folding cardboards are not made for inkjet. So uh, one of our partners, Atlantic Sizer, this is a company uh, belonging to Coesia, uh, approached us um, because there was a change in the, in the regulation of pharmaceutical packaging. Um, you have to print a barcode or a serial, a serial code on the packaging. So they told us, oh, there is no varnish available, which could be afterwards um, individualized with UV inkjet. So I'm talking about water-based uh, primers and uh, printing with UV inkjet. So they have their own um, ink uh, supplier, which is also in the Coesia group. It's, uh, it's, the company is called Tritron and they approached us in order to uh, develop a varnish um, where then afterwards the serialization can be done. So we had a look at different folding cardboards and first of all we printed on an uncoated board. Um, this does not look nice, the ink penetrates into the cardboard and um, yeah, the packaging is not protected against uh, any condition from outside if it rains on, it on top or some, some is spilled on it. And then we, we printed on, um, on a standard primer we have in our portfolio, but um, yeah, then you get a, a good adhesion but a bad contrast. And if you print on one of our standard um, top coatings, uh, yeah, the print looks nice, but you do not have a good adhesion. You can use it like a scratch card. You can just get uh, rid of the ink. So at the end, we developed a product, um, encoding varnish, which has a good adhesion and a, a nice appearance. So with our solution, we can enable UV inkjet printing on top of folding cardboards. So yeah, Atlantic Sizer um, has this late stage customization available, so you can create any box you want, and uh, then it looks really nice and colorful. After screening the market, um, we, we've we found out that a uh, corrugated board is, uh, is not rocket science, but it's really good in digital printing. So one of our customers, Paul Wellpapper, um, approached us because they bought a UV inkjet print machine from Barbaran. So they did not have a primer because um, they bought this machine in order to customize um, point of purchase displays or corrugated boxes, and uh, we developed a primer for them. So in the next slides, I would like to talk about the uh, advantages of priming materials. So um, I would like to bring you to our lab in Germany and to show how a primer works on a corrugated board. So this is our um, lab uh, UV inkjet printer um, we, we, uh, we bought from Atlantic Sizer. So we have a black ink inside and um, the printer can uh, print with 600 dpi at a speed of 60 minutes per meter. With 300 dpi, we can print with 100 meters per minute. Um, the curing is done by a, a lamp of Fosion, and we use this, um, this machine to develop our products and as well for quality control of our products. And we print every batch we produce uh, um, to ensure the, the quality of our products. So I implemented a small video in order to show, show the, the advantage of priming uh, a corrugated board. I do not know how it starts, so I need to click again. Okay, so this is, uh, this is our lab in, in Germany. This is my coworker Martin, he's in my lab team, and he applies on the corrugated board the water-based primer. So on the left-hand side, he, co uh, he covered the, 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 the board, so there is no primer applied. On the right-hand side, you can see the Actega primer. Okay. So now he is going to the lab, to our digital printing system, and printing on top of this corrugated board. 
So this is our printing system in the lab. And he's now going to apply the UV inkjet on top. So now let's have a look at the result. Let's have a look at the printing results of our lab test. So on the left hand side, the left you can see the ink uh, penetrates into the cardboard. It's not well cured, and uh, the result does not look nice. It's not, uh, not shiny, and you do not, do not have the beneficial of the UV ink. Here you can see it a little bit better. On the right hand side, you get an amazing print quality. Digital print. Okay. So. Now I would like to talk a little bit more of, about the process. So in order to make a corrugated box, you first of all have to look at the substrate. So the substrates uh, in the market, you have different uh, suppliers and different quality. And some are without liner, some are uh, applied with a liner. And um, depending on the quality, you have a different absorbance. So, yeah, we make the primers, and uh, in the machines on the market, you have different um, forms of application of the, of the primer. So you can um, yeah, apply them with Flexo or with a two-roller system. You, have, um, yeah, you can apply different amount of, of, of primers or the coatings, depending on the quality of the board. You have different triers, like NER or hot air. And uh, the press speed is also uh, different. Like uh, our partner, Barbaran, has now a press with 120 meters a minute. And this is different because the speed is faster compared to uh, previous ones they produce. So then on top of the primer, you will apply the UV inkjet ink. And um, yeah, the primer has a, a big if effect on the print quality of the product. Um, the, with the primer, because more or less the inks are fixed, uh, you can tune the, the sharpness of the, of the appearance of the product, of the final product. So you can either make it sharper, or you can expand the spread of the ink on, on top of the surface. You can, uh, of course, also influence it with pinning, and uh, also the ink adhesion is uh, affected by the primer. So in, in, at the end, the box has to have a good um, uh, product quality. It needs to be scratch and rub resistant. And um, yeah, the whole process needs to be flexible because you will bend the box and make it and glue it together. And um, all the components has to work together to, to have a good product. So I will have a second video implemented and here I want to uh, show again uh, the difference of a four-color print or five-color print with, with a primer and without a primer. So this was printed also on a brown box. So here you can see the result with a primer, and this would be uh, the same print without a primer applied before printing UV inkjet. So it just does not look nice. Here you can directly compare it with each other. Yeah, you, ha you have a better cloth, and uh, yeah, the ink does not penetrate into the substrate. Okay, I would like to summarize my talk. And um, yeah, with our solutions, we can um, yeah, guarantee a good print quality on all kinds of boards. Uh, we can tune, with the help of the primer, the expansion or the spread of the ink. And we can have a good uh, scrub resistance and uh, scratch resistance. And we can reduce uh, paper dust in the process. Yeah, as well as we have a process-oriented solutions, because we thought about all the steps and work together with our partners. So yeah, Actega makes digital printing possible. And um, if you have any further questions, um, my colleague Jordi, he is in the audience, and, we, and me and him will be here for the whole event. And I would like to thank you for your attention. Thank you very much.